Welcome back to our live continuing coverage of CES 2015, your live continuing coverage on Be Terrific, BeTerrific.com. You can download our app, app.beterrific.com. It is for iOS, Android, and Kindle Store. It's free, you can watch us live there, you can watch our archive content, you can engage with us. Please don't forget to do any of that. And by the way, at Be Terrific TV on both Instagram and Twitter. We're also streaming live on Planet5D.com, the best, biggest, and baddest uh, DSLR blog in the entire world. We love you guys, Planet 5D, we love Mitch, and we love all of you, our viewers. We've got a great guest right now. He's been doing CES since 1979. He's from the CEA. We've been talking about how much we love the CEA, what a great organization they are, how great this actual event is and what it takes to put it together. We've been talking about that nonstop, how wonderful and welcoming they are and what great people they are. Jim Barry is joining us from the CEA. Thank you so much. Nice to be with you. It's great to have yeah, you and here. And welcome to Las Vegas. Welcome to CES 2015. I am so excited. I can't, you know, I've been talking about this. I've been, this is my first time at CES. It's your first CES. Oh, it is. excellent. And, excellent. And I've been to tons of trade shows. Right. I have never seen anything like this in my life. I've covered Super Bowls. Yeah. I've covered I literally have covered just about everything, and I've never seen anything like this. Yeah. The boots, it's a small city. Yeah. Uh, it looks like being in New York City. You can't even see down, you're just seeing down the aisles. Oh yeah, well we are, we are you talk about the Super Bowl, the Olympics, the World Cup. That's what this is like for technology. Right. This is every January, and it's really developed over the last 15 or 20 years in this digital age. This is where innovation meets the marketplace. And when you look at all of the different elements of this, and as you know, I think uh, previous folks have said, we'll have 160,000 people here from all over the world. You mentioned the Super Bowl. We have over 5,000 members of the press here. Again, international. I do a lot of these interviews. I do more and more with people from all over the world. So this is where everybody comes. And I've been coming here for a long time. And uh, I've seen this show develop from basically TVs and stereos and then some other high flyers that came and went, like CB radios, for instance. When I first came to this show, uh, VCR was a new product. Some of your younger listeners say, what, a VCR, <laughs> what's that? And, and uh, the Apple II was a new computer. And, and, and the Walkman was pretty new, right? Well, the Walkman, 1980, 1981, exactly. The other thing that happened was the, the uh, PC, the IBM PC was introduced in 1981. And in 1984, the, uh, the telephone business was deregulated. The old Ma Bell was broken up, right. and all of the phone companies split off, and then um, uh, cell phones started. And cell phones in the late 80s, early 90s, I used to have one of those, it's about the size of a brick. It was literally like this big. Oh yeah, yeah, well that was the, the one you carried in a bag over your shoulder, then the small ones were the size of a brick, most of which was battery. I love retro tech. Yeah. I mean, I could talk to you about retro tech all day long. First of all, I call this our DeLorean. This looks like it came out of the uh, DeLorean Excellent. for me. It's a flux capacitor. This is actually a solar uh, powered uh, battery station. So this has got 250 watt hours of, of battery power. It's amazing. It's the energy bar from Aspect Solar, and they're here displaying. Yeah. What? But what I was what I was saying is I love retro tech, and you know I remember the Motorola cell phone that was uh, as big as as a two liter bottle of soda. Right. And the cell phone in the bag. Right. And I remember having the car phones in the car. Yeah. Um, and the VCRs and doing yeah. all this stuff. And I love that tech. What was the show like back then, and how big was it? Well, it was much smaller. Uh, this central hall that we have now, which is right down through those doors right there, was the show. Mm -hmm. And the uh, press room used to be this room right behind us, right here, was the press room. And um, I would say there were a lot of people. It was a big show for trade shows, sure. 40 or 50,000 people. You know, most trade shows are 10 or 20,000 people. You've been to other trade Absolutely. shows. They're usually relatively uh, in that range. There are a few, the NAB that comes here is a real big show. Very few that get the, uh, and this is the biggest trade show in North America, and it's the biggest annual um, tech trade show in the world. So. It's it's amazing, and we were, we've been saying that it's the biggest, uh, yeah. it's the biggest show in North America. It's phenomenal. It, I gotta I gotta talk to you a little bit more about retro because yeah. I just am so enamored Happy with this I'm and retro. where it's come. Was Crazy Eddie here? Did he ever come here? Did I mean? And what about like? I mean, you've seen so much. Like, what are the yeah. guys that you? What are the things that surprise you? And what is the tech? Well, what is the things that surprise you 
for me. Well, we were talking yesterday about being uh, coming here early on, and you're right, it was TVs and it was radios, and people like Crazy Eddie came, there were uh, retailers. You know, this is a trade show, it's a business show. A lot of people say you're looking to get more people here. Not really, because this is a place to right. do business, and the exhibitors are here to, uh, the big ones, the Samsungs and LGs are here to, uh, and Sonys, are here to uh, work with their dealers and distributors. Um, and that's been the same since this show began. But the show has expanded in the last few years. We have a new area this year. As you know, there's three areas for this show. The, uh, the Las Vegas Convention Center, all of it, and the Westgate Hotel next door. The Sands Convention Center, another big convention we're center. We're going to be there tomorrow but, and then oh, Friday. We're excellent. really excited Don't about Don't let that. me forget to tell you about one of the things you must see over there. Absolutely. We have that and the Venetian Hotel next to it. And new this year is the Aria Hotel, which we call Sea Space, and Sea is for content. That's where the people from Hulu and, uh, and Amazon and so forth are the, the content for all of these devices that we have here. So uh, that's well, we the We need to go community. over there and meet up with those oh, guys. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, so, so it's, the show is so big and we've divided it, as you may know, into these different marketplaces. So you go to one of them, there's one for um, unmanned aircraft, AKA drones. There's one for uh, there's one for robots, for robotics. I was saying that earlier, I love how you've divided it and segmented it so yeah. people can easily navigate the show. I, you know, I got to tell you, I was saying this to the guys last night after dinner, that, you know, I've, I've covered Super Bowls, I've covered everything. You do it better than the Super Bowl, but you've taken it from the Super Bowl, basically. Right. And I don't know that you necessarily took it from the Super Bowl, but you, you, you do the same concept. The way you treat the media, the way you welcome yeah. them in, and I really believe that that's what's helped grow the show. What you've done for us, you've welcomed us in, for, in, in with open arms. You're helping us move to the sands later right. um, so that we can cover oh, CES yeah. as completely as possible. Yeah. You, you're, you've given us the space. Everybody's been so amazing yeah. um, and, and helped us build our set here. That is something that they do at the Super Bowl. Yeah. I've never seen any other show yeah. or event do that. And it's something that I think helps it grow because it helps get the word out. And it makes people, the vendors, want to come back more because not only are they coming back to meet with their dealers yeah. or yeah. meet prospective clients, they're coming back to meet with the media. Right, well, and we have, as I said, over 5,000 members of the media, and you're right. That is, I think, I would say, immodestly for all of the folks I work with in the communications department, that they uh, that, that is one of the things that helps grow it. The other thing is how this technology, you've probably seen it, a lot of this has been percolating for a number of years and is now rising to the surface. There's a couple of uh, technologies that are really making all these things happen now. Things like wireless technology, digital technology, and sensors, which have gotten smaller, and when you put all that together, you get things like the Internet of Things, or the Internet of Everything. Basketballs, baby bottles, binkies, all of that, wristbands, all of that, and it's because the wireless technology has gotten so much better. Uh, drones, for instance. Drones have been around for a while, and at the show, they've been here for 10 or 15 years, primarily more in the toy department and for folks who like to fly model airplanes. Last year or so, a couple of things have happened. One, wireless has gotten better to connect them. Second thing, you can now control them with your smartphone or your tablet. And the third element that's really has those poised to take off these unmanned aircraft is the phenomenon known as GoPro or action camcorders. You put those things together and that's the kind of stuff we see here at CES every year is everybody comes here and they start seeing stuff and they say, boy, I wonder if I could do that with this. You know, this old technology, what if I put this new technology together with it? Well, we're, you, you guys are all about innovation. We're all about innovation, inspiring the audience, mm -hmm. entrepreneurism, telling stories, uh, enlightening them, maybe bettering their yep. day for just a few minutes, and, and, and being very positive. And so we've had a lot of great people on. We're, we had Samsung on, we had uh, the, the big dogs on, but mm -hmm. we also have the little guys. So we just had uh, no, key lock, no, key, no Key Lock, uh, from uh, uh, Fuzz uh, Designs yeah. on, and it's a Bluetooth padlock. Yeah. And it's just, it's an amazing product. We had bumped into them at Engadget X-Band just a, a, a few weeks ago, and I guess the people had said, you need uh, geo-fencing in the app, yep. and they added that in the last few weeks. 
and it's just amazing the innovation that's here. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm just blown away. There, Polaroid. What, I mean, Polaroid was dead in the water. Right. The resurgence that they're having, right. and the, the product they have this social camera that is just yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. And it's just it blows my mind. My my head is going to explode. I mean, I could talk to you all day. I know. You and I. Uh, yeah. I mean, my head is exploding. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. trying to interview you with I questions. Know. Well, let me tell you. Well, Polaroid's a great example. Yeah. Polaroid and Kodak are here. Yeah. You know, for me, I used to come and see the big exhibits they had here. Now, Polaroid and Kodak that are here are not the old of Polaroid course. and Kodak, the, right. but they are spectacular examples of the regeneration and the brand being used. But I, I'll show you another, one thing in a minute, but I want to tell you first about um, at the Sands, a place called Eureka Park. You mm -hmm. may have talked about that already. You, re, you mentioned Samsung, LG, so, Sony. Yes, and, and we're going to be talking about, about that when we're there. We're yeah. really excited about that because we're excited about the entrepreneurism there. Yeah. Well, that's what Eureka Park is. It's in many cases a guy and a gal, husband and a wife. This is a product that is called the Nova Flash. This is a wireless Bluetooth flash for your iPhone. So you can hold this away from the phone, get all kinds of creative pictures and stuff. Costs $60. This is a couple from London who said, you know, why don't we do this? I'd love to take pictures, I'd love to take selfies with kind of, and they already are getting pictures from folks saying, well, I think I'll take one through, you might not believe this, through a cocktail, for instance, and using the flash. So that kind of stuff. But Eureka Park is, you know, last year there was a company here, a little company, they had, oh, I, we have this new headset, and this one we're finally getting virtual reality right. The company's name Oculus. was Oculus. Somebody noticed them, Facebook noticed them, bought them for two billion dollars. So that's the kind of thing that can happen here at CES with the little companies. That's why when you go over to the Sands, it's a Tech West, when you see um, the Eureka Park, it st we started it four years ago uh, with 40 companies. This year it's almost 400 companies. Awesome. And the, the vibe over there is something that will really get your juices flowing. Yeah, I mean, I'm 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 super excited. You know, so it's really interesting. You guys have a great team, Pam and Wendy, and mm -hmm. uh, I mean the whole staff. Everybody right. we've ever talked to at the CEA is amazing. But they really coordinate. And you know, Wendy and I were talking, and I was telling her about Be Terrific, and she said, you know you really should be at the Sands too. And I said, I want to be at the Sands. Yeah. And she said, you know, but you really should be at the convention center too. And I said, I want to be at the convention center, but we only have one crew this year and we're right. growing. Right. And maybe next year we'll have two crews. And she said, why don't yeah. you do two days here and two days there? Right. I said, well, I'd love to do that, but that's going to put a real toll on my crew to like break this down right. and set it back up. Right. And she said, well, if you're willing to do it, we'll help you break it down, bring it over there, set it back up. Yeah. And I said, absolutely, 100%. Yeah. And I'm so thrilled. Um, because it's giving us the ability to get the best coverage for our viewers yeah, of yeah. CES oh, and, to, and to bring these great stories out yeah. of the sands. Well, we love you doing that because Thank again, this is, not, this is not open to the public. You know, right. This is a trade show. You and your colleagues and competitors are the way that people get to see this stuff that later on, they'll see some of it on the store shelves later this year. Others, some of the stuff that's hidden off in hotel rooms and stuff will be a few years down. Some of it will never get to market but there's a lot of it that will be a little farther down Nearly the a million people watching yesterday. The feedback yeah. was overwhelming, and the reason why is because there's so much innovation here and so much yeah. excitement, and it's what you guys do. It's a testament to what you guys do, yeah. to what you yeah. put on, because we're basically the conduit between, yeah. you said it's not open to the public, we're the conduit between the yeah. audience and yeah the public and yeah. you, and, and you guys do such a tremendous yeah. job, and it really also, it gets more people interested in creating products, it inspires them to do yeah, it, and it gets them great. vendors who couldn't make it this year yeah. to want to be here, it's, it's just, exactly. it's all around, it's a great yeah. circle. Yeah. Is there, what's the thing you were most surprised about that you said, I can't imagine this product ever succeeding, and it, from 1979 to today, and it was a smash hit? Well, there's been a lot of things that have been smash hits over the years, um, but. But the, the thing you shook your head, you walked away and said, I don't see that working. Uh, you know, most things, I, I'm, a, I'm an optimist. I yeah. usually think there's more things that didn't work that I thought might work, I think, than things uh, that I think uh, that were the other way around. And remember, I was here in the early 80s when there were, there were new computers coming out and new video game systems. Every two minutes. Every two minutes, yeah. So there was tons and tons of stuff. But one thing really strikes me over the last couple of years, my f old buddies and I that have been coming here for years, so we came to CES and an auto show broke out because Amazing. the t 10 of the top automakers are here, and the, you've been over there, you've seen, I have. I it's was like an away. auto I've been show. Talking about it. And, and you know, you put all the technology, we used to call it car stereo, and there's great car stereo, but now it is navigation, security, sensors, 
all of that, you put it all together in an automobile, and what do you get? A car that drives itself. Audi drove one down, or had it driven down, or somebody got it down with no driver from San Francisco to Las Vegas. Absolutely spectacular. Unbelievable, and I'm, I'm a car guy. I love, I, I, was, I, could, I could live in there. I could yeah. never leave there. And, and I love, we're doing the New York Auto Show. We love yeah. auto shows and, right. and all that. And, and so when I walked in and saw that, I was like, oh my God. Yeah. I'm like, next year we gotta have a crew here, and a crew there, and a crew here, yeah. and a crew there. Yeah. I mean, it's just endless. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, I told the guys we could do this for two weeks, interview after interview yeah, after interview yeah. and still not cover everything. I know. Well, that's what I always tell everybody the first time here. A couple of bits of, uh, of advice when they ask me for advice. Focus is the first because it is so big. You have to have a pretty good idea of what you want to see so you don't miss those things. Second thing is hydration. We're in the desert. Drink a lot of water. And uh, the third thing is sensible shoes to get around. You want to make sure you can get around. There I got the go. call Hans with the Nike you're, bottoms. You're, you're all set. Uh, and the fourth thing, though, is what I say is leave a little room for serendipity. You have all your plans and stuff, but leave a little room right. to walk some of the halls and say, what the heck is over here? I'd like to see this. And you are going to find something. You might not find Oculus, but you're going to find something very, very cool. I think that's great advice. Yeah. Um, I look forward to seeing you next year. Thank oh, yeah. you so much I'll for coming you. on. I'll see you during the year or whenever you'd like. And right. welcome and enjoy the show. I'm Thank glad to have so you so much. Here. Thank you. We're, yeah. we're thrilled to be here, and yeah. you guys have been phenomenal. Great. It's an amazing show. i got to ask you one thing. Yeah. What is the biggest trend you noticed this year? Biggest trend, I think, well, I would actually combine into a couple. You're hard to pin, it's hard to pin me down to one thing. Focus. But, focus. But, focus. That's uh, your advice. Well, focus. I'm focused on a couple of things. <laughs> one is wearables. The other is this Internet of Everything. If I wanted to say one thing, yes. I would say connections. Connected home, connected in the car, connected in your pocket, in your purse, we're all connected. Connected and, on, on, to your on body. Your, on your wrist, in your clothing, uh, in your basketball, in the binky for your baby, all of that stuff connected wirelessly. Look at this, we're connected to our audience. There, there we, These are some of our photos, but we're streaming them. This is a, a, a vendor that's at the, the Sands. It's hashtag cube. They were a Kickstarter, oh, yeah, great right. story. Yeah. And, and we're having people just send their photos to the hashtag Excellent. Be Terrific TV stage, yeah. and they show up right here, wireless digital Excellent. photo frame. Well, we love having you here, and ha thanks for having me on. Thank you so Great. much for having okay. us here, and, and, and it's a pleasure. Great. I can't wait to have you on again next year, okay. and maybe in New York at CE Week or, or in oh, between sure, at one of the other events. Sure. We want to do sure. those, too. Definitely. Great. Thank you so much. We'll thanks. be back with a whole lot more from CES Live. This is your continuing coverage on Be Terrific. We'll be back from the Las Vegas Convention Center right after this.